<laughs> That's on YouTube, yes, unless you were going to release it to the only over 18 crowd. center it kind of low like that and then um, the thing to do then will be to drop the, the inner well all the way down to the bat. And, you know when you do that lock your hands together um, it really helps and especially as you start to open that, that up. to keep that this hand really steady and so by pushing back on it you can help keep it from starting to wobble. How many pounds of clay just started? I don't know. I never weigh my clay. I really don't. Um, so I, I don't even have a good frame of reference for what two pounds is. You know? Okay. That looks, like, that looks more like five, four. Maybe. So as I'm pulling this open now I'm pushing down I'm not real, I think I went a little too far, so I'm going to go back in a little bit. The wheel? Yeah, yes. really, really working it. <laughs> For me, it's it's I, I like that surface to be sort of clean, so I can see what's going on. Make sure I'm centered, and then I'll drop the the well on the inside here. And again, I'm turning my thumb sideways, and I'm going to drop it down like that, hanging on with my other hand. sponge there to keep adding moisture. And I'm going to trim this, but I'm not going to trim much off of the, the other side, maybe a little, so I'm going to leave it just a hair thick. And then just start to throw the walls one at a time, come to the inside here. If you stop right there, you've got to a base for pansies. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. A base for pansies. And a, yeah, pansies are a little short. No, yeah. 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 Short stem, and mm -hmm. they hang over. Oh, so you would just move it, put it in the yeah. edge. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Pull out a lot of water. So it's kind of interesting throwing the inside wall because it's uh, sort of counterintuitive in a way. What's counterintuitive? Throwing this inside wall, for me it kind of, I don't know if it, I don't know why it messes with my mind so much, but like pushing that. It's on the wrong side. Pushing that curve is, yeah, like I, the I rarely the inside. do that, <laughs> mm -hmm. that shape, you know, so it's. Really, all of my throwing ends up in that shape. Right. <laughs> You're gonna so love natural. This. So <laughs> natural. The problem is they have to unite. The outside ones are really awkward for me. <laughs> that's the one that's backwards. So I'm leaving things just a little bit thick, so I've got some extra to work with if I need it. Because it's going to be trimmed, I'm not going to worry too much about any of that. And so then it's just really about teasing that shape into place. So I'll start to, you know, belly this part out and then come in and collar.
now I'm trying to get that inside belly the way I want it. And then here's where this extra thick lip is going to start to help me. So I'm able to start throwing that now. So on a, on a smaller scale, these things are are kind of nice um, for decoration. You know, you can throw a, a fairly small one and cut it into parts, half or thirds or even quarters, and start to attach them as handles um, and things like that, or as you know, parts of sculpture. Right? Uh, tubes become pretty useful, in your, like you know, even for you with your animals and that kind of stuff these might be useful. I think if I made one of those, it's going to stay that shape and be so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an amazement of making it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's going to stay that. I wouldn't want to touch it if I made it. Like, oh, look what I made. <laughs> so don't, with it. <laughs> don't forget to take, get that water out of there. problems. And I'll slow it way down when I start to get close. Pushing the outside in as well. Yep, both at the same time, trying to get them to connect. Ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, guys, stick together. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Listen to me now and hear me later. Might help, yeah, a little bit. I didn't, didn't know if it was too wet to swallow. Stick for me. There's that one spot where there's a lot of stick. Yeah, once I can start to seal the air, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll go. So I'll be able to push back up on it. It's just that one area that they won't see. <laughs> that was cheating. <laughs> I think I'll have about five minutes. Yeah. Well, you know, that's a bad route. And especially when the air is trapped. Yeah. 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 Normally, I prep these demos and didn't get a chance to today. Could have happened much sooner. <laughs> it's okay, it still is pretty good. Actually, it's kind of nice to see you But now, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing now that the uh, now that the air is trapped in there, it's everything is much safer. Um, I feel like you should make four in it. What's that? I feel like you should make four. It's the start of your car. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Johnny Carson. Mm, yeah. yeah. Well, she's read about 
knew who Johnny Carson is, but Jesus, oh, he's always like five when he probably did that. Carter. <laughs> Chris? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll do it when she's not expecting. All right. <laughs> And I'm so glad you made those comments, because I think you would have hit me. So the neat thing to do with one of these would be to make a pot with a really thick lip and just throw the lip separate for a pot. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing this as a really thick lip, lip on top of a yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I can see that. on top of a face. Yeah, <laughs> I know uh, uh, Bill Kramer makes the tops to his sculptures this way. Not quite so round, they're a little bit more um, angular. But he throws them that hollow inside and then puts them on top to do those gestural um, finishes to those, those big things that he makes. Now, how thick is your floor on that? Can you trim that all the way down and yes. get it round on that side? Yep. So, as I was throwing it, I made sure that um, that inside had a a curve on the bottom of it that I didn't just open it up flat. Tom Munich did a bust of himself and threw an inner tube and he was going to float it in his pond. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So I'm I'm really interested in these things as as sort of shapes into themselves, you know, to cut this thing in half at leather hard and sort of invert the you know, slip and score of this end on top of here and so you get you know, like a what, a what do you call it? Is that a candelabra or something like mm -hmm. that? You made a couple more kind of those and nice. just sat them half down on the ground and put it in on shit the dragon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I had a student make one of those a few years ago. Yeah, it was really cool. So the I think the thing to do with them is that if you can get that inside outside wall height the same, so you don't have to push one side over so far to catch that outside. You know, if you can get them to meet in the middle, you'll be a lot better off. Successful way of doing it. Um, so, I think I'm gonna at leather hard. I think I'm gonna do that candle thing. See what happens. Maybe we'll uh, put a couple of like small plates on the top of it, so it has a little place for the candle. So then you're not gonna basically take it around the other side. Yeah, well, what I'll, I'm not yeah, sure, sure I'm following you. I'll, I'll cut it in half and then just take this half and stack it on but, top of here. But trim the bottom. Trim it. Trim so the bottom. Oh, yeah, I'll trim the, I'll flip it over and trim it first. Before you right, it. right. Yep. Yeah. Now, if you, you were talking about making a teapot from, how would you? For the teapot, they're they're really kind of dumb, you know. I, mean, I think, <laughs> um, can't use them for anything. No, no it's okay. a, they're decorative. I've um, seen it. They're, and, okay. you know, like a vase would be. The base would be, you know, so it, it would be throwing a, a, a real sort of squat cylinder um, that kind of flared open like that and then you squish the, the top part um, and attach it onto the bottom to make it stand up as a foot, right? So then it would be vertical. Um, and you can have you a sprout that? off. Oh, okay. So you, you leave it. You leave it round. Okay, you would leave it round. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's strictly a, a like a sculpture piece. Okay. Well, you can if you got interested in making you know real geometric, almost <coughs> mechanical things. You know, this would be a neat way to make parts. But with a bigger bat, you can make some really large circles and get some beautiful arches. You know that you can. Cut mm -hmm. apart, cut apart, and use pieces of. You, know. you could do it. 
if you had a bigger one, you could do it in half, using the bigger one on the bottom and the other, you could have it like a vase with different pieces. Mm -hmm. yeah, you could do that, couldn't you? That would be interesting. Mm -hmm. have a vase with flowers on both ends. At the ends and then yeah. turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'll let this go leather hard and next week I'll trim it up. Next week I'm going to do the, the glazing thing. Again. So that'll be next week. And then in my spare time I'll try to finish this up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah.